Go. Hello there. Welcome again to the June Alma Show. And this is June Alma inviting you to another, the rest of the episode of a wonderful evening as we talk about beauty and fashion. So in this uh, segment, we have with us our main guests, uh, a mother and daughter tandem. And uh, actually, they have come from uh, a long line of uh, uh, fashion and the arts because um, uh, she has come from, uh, the mother has come from, four gen actually they're from four generations of, uh, of beauty and fashion. And uh, beginning with um, her grandmother, who was a fashion designer, um, and mother. then her mother, her own mother, who was also the very famous uh, Marina Antonio, who uh, was also a fashion designer, and then herself, and uh, now her daughters too have taken on the cudgels. And uh, so we have a long line of four generations of uh, one of the, you know, mo one of the most relaxing and the most beautiful business in the world, which is fashion designing. Hmm. And um, so we are very lucky with us uh, because we have with us tonight uh, the mother and daughter tandem who, um, who have, uh, you know, started out uh, the trend of uh, propagating uh, the sweetest fashion. They have, um, they have, you know, been uh, labeled, and um, uh, their image is identified with the beautifying uh, uh, brides of the country, and also debutants, mm -hmm. and also children's clothes, uh, including even uh, children's party dresses, including boy suits for little boys and girls. Mm -hmm. And um, we, uh, v we are very lucky to have with us tonight uh, one of Manila's sweetest and most beautiful um, couturiers. Uh, tonight, welcome to the show, Miss Malu Veloso and her daughter, Letlet Veloso. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Mother and daughter tandem. Thank you. Yeah, we are very lucky that, uh, thank you for accepting our invitation for you to guest. And uh, tell me, um, I know that, uh, you know, usually when you get into a dynasty, this is like a fashion dynasty, mm -hmm. right? Because you are into four generations of fashion already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, I know that you have sort of lived and breathed the, uh, you know, the uh, industry of hand, hand, pers you know, hand making or hand, w hand weaving of uh, embroideries and lace works and, and all these, you know, sweet uh, fabrics and all that and sort of, so you, it is just natural for you to continue on the same business and tradition. But uh, do you think this is also in the blood because you have you, you have all been in the family of the same business and uh, you have been partners within the family. Right. So uh, it is just, you know, very wonderful and heartwarming that uh, you would be able to share with our televiewers tonight, uh, you know, yeah. the wisdom behind mm -hmm. your, your passion and your business. You know, when my mom was growing up, that time my Lola, her, her mom, mm -hmm. you know, did business out there. No, so she grew up with costureras at home, no? and then when we were born, we were we grew up with costureras around us also. Mm -hmm. So it was inevitable right. like mm. that, that we would uh, natural. natural. natural I saw it every day. Every day right. I woke up, there was a costurera That's true. running around the house. That's right? why I said you practically that's lived and that breathed. That's, yeah, that's why at an early age, they already designed their own clothes. You know, when they're about ten, <laughs> they didn't mm. want any more for me to be the one to do what they want. So I said, talk to the, to talk to the costurera. So that's why at an early age, they already knew. Like me on the other hand with my mom, when I think I was about eight or nine, she'd pay me maybe five centavos <laughs> before to put beads, But it was also training already. Oh, because big. when oh, you're yeah. still young, you're learning uh, the value of money mm -hmm. and then to do something. And I saw uh, this famous American lady talking on TV. She said that you should not give your children allowance. They should do something for, for you to give them money. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. I think, you know, growing up in that atmosphere, it's natural that um, we be making clothes. And she did that to yeah. us also. Ah, when we were growing up, mm -hmm. uh, during vacation, after school, we worked for her. We worked for her. Cool. So that's yeah, wonderful. Nice. Eh? Values that's formation. Nice, yeah. Don't yeah. teach your children how to become rich. Teach yeah. them the value, the value of things and, yeah, to and uh, of your that, own yes. work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's better I think that so. way. My, my mom was very wise because her mom used to sew also. Mm -hmm. And then she said, it's very good for, for you to know how to sew, to, 
to cook and everything because if you marry a rich man, <laughs> you'll know what yeah. to, to, to teach the maids. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't marry a rich man, you'll know how to do these things. Without the maid. <laughs> without the maid. <laughs> Whether without the maid, it's always yeah. best that yeah. you're able no, to do yeah. it yeah. yourself. Whether yeah. it's yeah. having yeah. your own business or, or in yes. this kind of industry. It was inevitable. Uh, you were in that environment. And yes. it was a natural progression that if you wanted something, you wanted to wear it. What's, what, 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 what better way to make sure that yes. you got what you want than to be yeah. the one to design it and tell the costurer to make it? Yeah. Yeah. That was wonderful. That was very nice. That was very nice. Sometimes you don't agree always with your mom. Like, I didn't yeah, agree right. with my mom, <laughs> yeah. with my mom what, what, what I wanted to wear. Yeah, so what did Miss Letlet do? I she didn't agree same. either. <laughs> Sometimes, no, she'll just do her own. <laughs> yeah, I had my ideas when I was yeah. young already. I, I knew somehow yeah. I'd end up doing what what she was mm -hmm. doing, you know. I, 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 I liked watching my mom work. Because in the 60s, her store was really inside the house, one room of the house. Mm -hmm. See? It's not like now there are malls yeah, yeah. everywhere. But that time, it was really inside the house. So clients would come in and out. So I saw dresses from beginning to end. Remember the costureras were across my room. Okay. I mean, there was another house <laughs> across us. And I could see things, you know, being yes. created. Mm -hmm. So how did you start the... Uh, Malu, how did you start this, you know, um, passion for the embroidery? Because I, yes. I read somewhere in your CV that you were also studying after Marinol. Incidentally, yes. we are, are all Marinolers. Yes. <laughs> when I went to Switzerland, yes, you were sent I to, wanted uh, to be an architect, school. but you know, when I was in USD, all the professors would tell me, you know, I know your dad. That, so I told my dad, I don't want to study anymore here. They're, they're, they're looking at me, you know just watching me all the time. <laughs> so he sent me to Switzerland, mm. which I really, really Enjoy. love. Uh -huh. mm. I, I really like uh, going to Europe. So I, that's, I think that's yes. where I learned all the, you know, like I would say, <coughs> my clothes are very classic. Mm -hmm. I've always loved lace ever since before. They'll say, you know, Malusia or it's like that, but look, it's fashion today. Oh, yes. But it's I've never classical. left it, and I, yes. I always talk to with lace. And right. Actually, I would say classical. Yeah. Classical cuts. I'm not. I don't do very trendy. No very trendy. trendy. Yes. Unless they really tell me, unless the the bride tells me, I want this or that. But most of the time, fortunately, most of my brides, many of them are young lawyers, doctors. They're a bit on the conservative and the mm -hmm. romantic side. Mm -hmm. Because I like I like clothes that are romantic, you know, with lace and flowerets like that. Mm -hmm. I want something to be feminine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would I would consider myself uh, that very feminine look, which I'm lucky, especially now. All the brides want to look feminine. Mm -hmm. There was a time they didn't want. They would tell me, Malu, don't make me so uh, dainty and like that because <laughs> I'm old already. They would yeah. say, I'm old. I said, no, no, don't say that. Uh, anyway, the Filipina always looks young. Mm -hmm. And I said, don't say that you look, let's say, if, the, if she was 30, I'll tell her, but you know, you look only like you're 20, really, honestly. Mm -hmm. So um, we should, you should wear something that will make you look beautiful on your wedding day. You know, something that uh, you will not wear every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something so, that complements. Yeah, and then, yeah. so I've, I've stuck with that all these years. Mm -hmm. That's so good, yeah. yeah. Because uh, even from afar, you can easily spot a Malu Veloce dress. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, uh, you know, uh, identifiable mm -hmm. and it's very distinguished. And uh, of, of course, uh, your daughters have naturally taken on the, you know, progression into RTW. But this time it's RTW? The no, the actually I have a few RTW at our store, but it's really all made to order. Mm -mm. I like, we like made to order oh because yes, it's because nice creating order. something yes. for someone. No, custom uh, made, yeah. yeah, custom made. I mean, I have RTW so people can see mm -hmm. what, what, what's the latest. Right. No? Mm -hmm. but, but I've always liked, you know, but custom you know, made clothes. Yeah, yeah, what's yeah. nice in the shop, because she has her ideas also. When, so when people go to the shop, they can have two kinds, you know, a little yeah. bit more sophisticated, a little bit more feminine. Yes. So when they look Merch. around, then they'll say, oh, I like the top of this and the skirt of this. Uh, uh, yes, that yes. also does wedding gowns because, you mm -hmm. know, one day, when I retire, uh, because I love my grandchildren, I want to spend more time with them, <laughs> then she can <laughs> handle the shot. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but my question would be, if you are the classics, the basics, the feminine, yes. what would Miss Let Let be? Both. I can um, in contradistinction. I, 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 I still, I, if, you, if you go to our store, yeah. I, I still like classic styles, but I'm a little bit more adventurous. Yeah. 
maybe All than right. my mom. Just a little bit. Mm -mm. How so? How so? How would you characterize your adventurousness in terms of uh, the cuts, design? Maybe my cuts a little mm -hmm. bit more adventurous. Uh, in the cut, I in the beading. Mm -hmm. If you enter our store, because we share a yeah. store, you can tell which is which, which mm -hmm. I made and which, which she made and which. Yeah. Yeah. But if, in fairness to my mom, you can see, um, I don't know the word for it. Uh, more work. No, if you, you, you see, you can see. Uh, I, I think, no, because more you know, handwork. I like more handwork. No. Yes, I, I, I learned that from my mom, no? Mm -hmm. Because, like, in fact, uh, someone told me recently, oh, why don't you just get this material that has already beads and everything? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I said, no. Then every, everybody will look the same. She wants from scratch. I like from yeah, scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think the people who go to me, um, not necessarily brides, you know, that my number one selling is my godmothers. Oh, okay. You can have one bride and you have ten godmothers, no? Uh -huh. And all the godmothers <laughs> nowadays, they're, they're young looking. Yes, the yes. mothers, they're not like before now. All you have to do is make something straight. But mm. now they look so beautiful. I mean, even if they're in their 70s, yes, yes. Yes. the ladies I make, you know, the nice figures. So I'm very, um, I love doing it for them. They can carry it. You know, maybe um, a 30-year-old lady who's big and everything, cannot carry what a 70-year-old mm, yeah. woman can carry, you know, uh, because yeah. it doesn't look nice. Mm. So it's not the age. It's also if she feels she can get away with it and, and she has no um, qualms about uh, yeah. wearing something like that, yes, then yes, it's yes. okay. Yes, but uh, can you tell us something about uh, the photos that you brought with you? Well, this one is, of course, my favorite. This is um, the daughter of Susan Rosses. The one in the middle? This the one here. On the left. All right. Yeah. She's okay. um, Grace Leamanzares. Grace Paul yes. yes. She's very nice and um, she looks, looks the same. exactly the same. It looks the same. Yes. That's a piña gown. Mm -hmm. And I think I put a little pink lining because she was very young when she got ah. there. Mm. She's very young. So there was a pink lining. Yeah. Yeah. And I, she's, um, well, the middle picture is just a model. A, just a model. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And the third one, that's a satin gown. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the name, <laughs> but you know, hers right. was a very long train, detachable, and satin. Okay. Oh, it's so a detachable I, satin mm, train. The so middle one. The middle one is tulle. Yeah, that's yeah. tulle. Which yeah. is very much in fashion now. Oh, yes, 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 I understand. Right, yeah. Yes, yeah. I do a lot of photo shoots with a yeah. lot yeah. of tulle. Tool. There was even one where we put all the tulle on the ground, yes. and the model was like coming out of yes. it. It came out mm -hmm. like clouds, yeah. and the model was coming out of that. But my, all my new weddings are all tulle. Mm -hmm. Wherein before, well, I still have piña, mm -hmm. but then the, a lot now are, ha are, which is something, which is something of before, yeah. mm -hmm. tool and chantilly lace. Yes. Oh, what about the accessories? About, yeah. <laughs> uh, let, let's let let. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Actually, yeah. uh, I mentioned earlier, we also sell fashion accessories, mm -hmm. which are what mommy and I are wearing, and these ones over here. And these ones, I tell everybody that I make myself. She does. Ooh. I don't have workers who make it. Really? This is something. <laughs> oh. I like, yeah, I like doing it. Like we sell it, and I love selling it. Get your and, hands uh, dirty. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's very nice. And you know, I'll have to tell you something. Sometimes I, I go out, and people say, "Wow, how nice your necklace that my daughter makes it." Many times, I have to sell it to them. Yeah, Do you mind if I buy it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I said, okay, I don't mind. Okay, so I'm able. That's why I always wear this. So yeah. they take the jewelry off of your body? Yeah. Literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> you buy so you, you're your own model. You model yeah, your yeah, own yeah. creations. So I wear it yeah. every day. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. Isn't that? Yeah. Yeah. You wear your own stuff. Uh, now I remember what I forgot earlier. Oh, yeah. I, said, wait, I, I just remembered. Yeah. You know, I say, if you see my designs and my mom, you look at my designs, and you can tell I'm very influenced by my mom's style. Mm. Of course. So it's not yes, like yes. you see a bra totally yeah. different. You, you can see, I mean, I, mm. I grew up with that. So it, 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 it like it yeah. dovetails yeah. from yeah. your mom. Also from my mom. Yeah. Because uh, in yeah, the house even. in Samora, the legacy. I want to, I want to uh, on display are two gowns made by my mother. Mm. It's so fashionable even it's now. Timeless. It's all layer, layer. Classic you know, timeless. Yeah. In fact, I have to go to a, a ball on Wednesday, on Thursday, mm -hmm. and it's Hollywood inspired. Whoa, so I'm, I'm, I'm borrowing the idea of my mom, and now it shall be Scarlett O'Hara. Oh, and the <laughs> 20s, Scarlett O'Hara. You know, 20s, the, 30s, yes, yeah. with this, like, a old Hollywood glamour. Yes, ah. that's, that's the theme of the, our Catholic Women's Club. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Sepia photos, Sepia movie. 
Yeah, different, nice. different, yes. and um, timeless. Timeless, so yeah. it's very nice. But it's very, very heartwarming that you're able to, you know, e uh, even make the um, the more matured yes. clientele yes. still yes. look, still look young and beautiful. They look so well. And natural. So nice. Yeah. And it's so yeah. nice. Like they say that you know, when you're oh, young yeah, and beautiful, that's, that's a natural expectation. Mm. Yes. But yeah. when you're more matured and still beautiful, that's a natural masterpiece. Yes. <laughs> and Very so well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do stay with us. Uh, we will be back soon after a few reminders.